Hey, it's me, Nikki the Homemaker. Welcome to my channel. So we're doing raised gardens. I am so happy I did not get to do my gardens last year because my allergies were a killer. But he has one so far. He was surprising me with this. I didn't know he was going to do this. I got to give a shout out to Miss Darlene from uh, Mommy and Orlito YouTube channel. You guys, she blessed me. She got me all the plants that I needed, all my herbs, potting soil. It was a huge, huge blessing. I love this girl so much. She is honestly one of my best, best friends that I've ever met. And I, I love her so much. I'm showing right there because that's where we're going to put them. He has the first one um, built. So I'm going back and forth, sorry. <laughs> but yes, Miss Darlene made my dream come true for this year. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do the gardening. And out of nowhere, she blessed me. And I was like, what? And I was able to buy everything. That's because she didn't even know I wanted to do this. She just blessed me out of her kind, kind heart. So thank you, Darlene. I love you so much, girl. You know I love you so much. You and Orlito are everything to me. Um, oh, and right here, let me explain. My husband got this cloth. They said to put this um, for raised gardens. And um, we usually do this when we're doing like beds. I even put this under whenever we were doing um, my fire pit area with the rocks. But the I still find that the grass grows through it. But anyways, we just did what the people at um, Home Depot told us to do. So we bought that for the raised gardens and also a specific potting soil for raised gardens um once he finished he drilled some holes so that we could have a uh, drainage for the plants of course and these are two by five or sixes you need to have at least two to three feet um separate from your plants they need to be two to three feet away from each other i've done it one foot to two feet they still grow it's just that they can grow so much bigger um, we didn't want to spend too much money on wood because wood is expensive. So we just did two by five. And this is the potting soil that I was talking about that was recommended for raised gardens. So when I first saw somebody do this, it was a Michigan foodie girl. She's a YouTuber. She's a mug banger. She started doing, um gardens and stuff like that she started one out of pallets at such a low cost that was my goal because i have pallets but my husband surprised me when i woke up on memorial day he was already doing this so um yeah i was like okay great so he um did the two by five he was telling me what his plans were i was happy and he just started getting it going and he did it it took him one whole day to do it so i'm very thankful to my husband thank you so much i love you and he's just always surprising me with things so it took five bags to fill this two by five and i believe he raised it three feet i believe so so these are some of my vegetables we have yellow squash and green zucchini that's what these beds are going to be used for i usually plant them in the ground but my husband wanted them to have raised he wanted to do it on raised gardens so that the weeds wouldn't be so crazy to get into because once these grow they have like it kind of hurts when you're getting the um, vegetables it has like spinas or something kind of pokey and it's kind of hard to get in there so he wanted to do them in the raised gardens these right here are the yellow squash and we did them i think a foot and a half away from each other which like i said i've done them even a foot they're still gonna grow it's just um they would grow much bigger and this is because they do get so big so fast you guys you're gonna get a lot out of two plants i do plan on planting more so that i can give away because i like to bless people with vegetables once they're coming in so i'm hoping that we're going to be able to do that in the area where i usually plant the um my vegetable garden so yes foodie girl does this she she has so many raised gardens you guys and she did it at such a low cost it's so amazing and she does all kinds of stuff cabbage um all kinds of vegetables i mean you name it that girl is doing it um so once he plants these we're gonna go ahead and go to the porch garden i still have to go back and paint them but aren't they beautiful and i'm just gonna use whatever paint we have i don't want to spend any more money because the wood and all that was expensive so this is the porch garden and these are tomatoes i don't really do a lot of tomatoes um but he of course wanted one for whenever he wants pico de gallo he likes to have his tomatoes and jalapenos out there so 
because of Darlene. Thank you, my girl. Um, I was able to get tomatoes, jalapenos, cayenne. Um, what else? What else? Uh, basil. And I believe that's what he's putting in the pot right now. He is putting the basil in there. I always get about two basils because they smell so pretty and grow so beautiful. And I like to add these to um, salads. And, you know, basil leaves are really good for inflammation. Okay, so there's tomato, jalapeno, basil plants. These grow so big and beautiful. And then we have, um, what are these, mints, mint plants. All of these are a partial sun. We have peas right here, but these aren't going to stay here. They're just until um, the meantime, until my husband builds what he's going to build for them. And then we have the cayenne pepper chiles. And then over here we have cucumbers that he's going to build a trellis for as well. So they're just going to be here in the meantime. The basil and the mint smells so good. And we still got to clean up the porch and stuff, but looks good. These are the baby chicks. Hey! We, like, literally just got them. So these are the chicks. They were so little. Look, they're growing feathers now. They're growing their little tail feathers. <laughs> Come here. Come here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I, I have five of them of these kind, and they're named Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. These are the little baby. These are going to be the laying hens. They are so cute. They're really, really little. Wendy's like, what are these? But yes, these girls are growing their feathers. Oh, she's going to run away. Ah. Show that they're growing their feathers, Helen. <laughs> they're being silly. Okay, open it up. They're growing their feathers already. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful, and they're getting their little tail feather too. They grew so quick. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Look at the little babies. So for the most part, they do get along. Um, it's just the big ones, I guess they have like longer legs and they step on them sometimes, but I don't think they're trying to be mean to them. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will be showing you the progression with the garden and the chickens as the weeks come. Have a blessed one.